This marvelous display of emotions by Sarah's cranes is rather rare in birds. From March till the monsoons arrive, the gathering at roost is fun and also a place for young adults to find their new soulmates and also the time for courtship dances. For the people of India, the Saras cranes hold a very, very special place because it is said that the epic Ramayana got written because of the Saras crane. The great epic Ramayana was written in a metrical form by the poet Valmiki, who felt great pain at the killing of one of the Saras's by a hunter. He cursed him instantaneously in a worse form and that became the metrical system of poetry in India. Even otherwise, the Saras crane, being the tallest flying bird across the globe and has a population of just about 8,000 remaining. And this population is declining as well. Come August, the nesting begins. Till September, the prospective parents build their home with the reeds, which is about two by two meters. The nests are made often in the shallow and marshy areas of the wetlands and also in paddy fields. Over the last five years since discovering the Nori, I have been lucky to see the complete life cycle of cranes except for the actual mating sequence. After a month of waiting, life slowly unfolds to a new beginning. Based on my records of last five years, the Saras cranes lay two eggs in the nest at an interval of about 48 hours. The incubation period is about 26 to 36 days. And when there is a change of guard for incubation, that is the change of duty, there is normally a soul stirring dance by the parents of Saras. Both the parents take turns to incubate the eggs closely guarded by the mother. Within a couple of hours, our little junior can balance himself upright. The second hatchling appears after about 48 hours. But for the wild, it is all about survival of the fittest. Brotherly love is not so common to find than fratricide. By eliminating the weakling, any kind of competition for food is also taken care of. Like most birds, the chicks can not only walk when two days old, but a little known fact is that they are also very good swimmers. The 
chicks are now in their so called early teens growing from 6 to 8 inches at birth to almost 2 meters in 3 months catching a snake for a snack is a treat worthwhile for them and worth watching for the spectators they will follow their parents till they achieve maturity and then the parents are ready to breed again but their numbers are slowly dwindling due to the loss of habitat Saras has been placed in the vulnerable category by the International Union for Conservation of uh, Nature primarily because of the loss of habitat and therefore serious decline in the numbers the population at the moment is pegged at just about 8000 in it thus tagged with the vulnerable status of saras grains it is essential that the nori be protected as not only a wetland but also as a saras sanctuary join me in my crusade to save the nori wetland not just as a wetland but also as a sanctuary for saras grains i think it is time that we approach the decision makers like the prime minister of india the chief minister of various states to do the needful that needs to be done for saving saras and for declaring the nori wetland as a saras sanctuary